This is the Game Maker Serial 2 Sequences tutorial, and in these videos we're going to cover the basics of how to animate things in our new editor. So to begin with, we're going to select New, Drag and Drop, and then title our project. I'm going to call this Sequence underscore Tutorial, and hit Enter or Save. And as you can see, we've been brought into our empty project here. This area on the left is the workspace, and this is where our editors will open up. And on the right here is the asset browser, where we store all of our assets. To create a sequence, we go over to the sequences folder, which has already been created for us, and we select it because any new asset we add will be added to wherever we have selected. I'm going to go up to this create asset icon here and we get a list of all the things we can add and I'm just going to select sequences down here and we want to add one of these so we just hit create. And here we can see our nice new shiny sequence editor and in the sequence folder we have our new asset that we just created. So because this is empty, we need to populate it, and we're going to populate it with some sprites. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to highlight the sprites folder. I'm going to hit Add Asset, and select Sprites. I'm going to up the quantity to 2, and hit Create. You can see that in the sprites folder, we have two empty sprites, and we have been taken to the workspaces, where we have editors for each of these sprites. So it's really simple to populate these. If I want to add sprites, I can just find them in my folder and drag them in. I'm going to make my way to the player folder where we have all of our images here. I'm going to highlight them and click and drag them into the editor. We get a little pop-up warning us that we can't undo this. So just click yes and we can see our sprites have been imported. We've got all frames of animation down at the bottom, and if I play this, it plays through. Now, that's a little bit fast, so I'm going to go to here, which is our frames per second, and I'm going to slow this down by entering 10. And if I play it, now you can see that it's slowed right down. This little icon here is the sprite origin, which I'm going to drag to the bottom in the middle to line up with his foot here. And this is how we can control how we manipulate the asset later on in the sequence editor. And lastly, I'm just going to rename the sprite up here in the text box. I'll just call it SPR underscore player and hit enter. So that's the first one done. We're just going to do the exact same thing for sprite 2. I'm going to scroll down to the sprite 2 editor we've got here. I'm going to make my way to the ghost folder. Click on the asset and drag it into the editor. I'm just going to hit yes on this pop-up here. I'm just going to use control and the middle mouse wheel to zoom out. So to update the origin, I could drag it like we did on the last one, or I could come up to this top right drop down here and select middle center. And you can see that it's updated on our image here. Because this is only one frame, we don't need to worry about the speed. We just need to rename it I'm just going to call it SPR underscore ghost and hit enter. And that's it for our project setup. I'm going to show you how to use these assets in the next few videos and we'll put them into sequences and get them animating.